Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a part two of the Dyson Airwrap. Previously on my channel, I did a an unboxing and tutorial of what I thought I could do with it. So now let's see what a pro can do with it. And she is a pro because she does my hair normally. And if you'd like to see what an actual stylist can do with the Airwrap, then let's get started. if you wanted to but they call it a pre-dryer because you're most likely going to finish with one of those okay so i find the best way to start is pre-dry all your roots with this because you don't want to try to curl it and this isn't dry yet in the roots and then you have these dry curls on the end right so with this, you can get that volume in there. And this tool is really nice for having it for yourself at home because it's kind of like a one-handed tool that you don't have to lift your other arm up as much and your arms up. Right. I have a couple clients with really short curly hair that have gotten it that they just kind of roll the curls and they just hold the roller up and just curls it. It's so perfect. <laughs> I'm like not even looking, just rolling up their head. And sometimes I don't have this here with me, and they're like, I'll just leave with it wet and dry it when I get home because they just <laughs> love it so much. One time I styled my hair completely wet like this to all the way dry with curls in 20 minutes. That's really good for completely wet to all the way styled with my thick hair. Yeah, it doesn't take long. It, it does work fast. Yeah. And I like to kind of think of it you want to dry it almost all the way dry, like just a little bit damp, almost like you just kind of sprayed it down with a water bottle because if it's too wet, it'll be too heavy for the air to want to wrap it. Right, that makes sense. So if it's just a little bit damp in there, that'll allow it to finish drying it, gonna actually get that little bit of extra frizz out um, by finishing the dry and dry enough for it to wrap around enough and add the curl. And 
is it too damp when it's dry also, like the mixture of wet and dry will kind of tug on your hair too much with the brown brush or the regular brush. Mm -hmm. So you really almost want it to be almost all the way dry. Nope. See if I can tell what I mean by doing this. So first I'll start on this part to show you. Coming out first with it off. Mm -hmm. More control. And that's another thing, you want to make sure you turn it off before you take it out of the hair. Oh. More so with the, the wand rod thing. Um, this one's kind of okay because it's not twisting as much. But if you just hold your hand over it like this, that's kind of like how you're holding it with the round brush. Right. Like you're, here's your dryer, here's your brush. Right. So just hold it instead. See that already? Yeah. Now what do you have that on? Is it on the hottest setting and then? Yeah, I okay. like it on hot when I'm really trying to. Okay. Um get it dry and styled first. Sometimes when it's like almost all the way dry, then I'll, and I'm trying to perfect it, I will turn it down. So it's really important to section, I think, cause yeah. it will want to blow around everywhere. Right. And I find doing like one side and then the other side is easier than doing like bottom to top. Okay. Cause you, if you do bottom to top, you're kind of laying all this wet over top, which is fine, but it, it's kind of hard to grab which piece you're trying to get. Uh-huh. So if you look, you hold this, the arrow's blowing this way, but if you look in the mirror, uh -huh. it's blowing this way. Right. So that means it will blow away from your face. Okay. So you look at it, it's confusing, but just look okay. in the mirror. Okay. And that's where it's blown. So I like this way on this side. So now that the roots are almost all the way dry, you don't have to really try to hold it there next to your head really hot. Mm -hmm. And if you hold it like this, it will wrap by itself. This gives you more of a curl look too. Yeah. You can do waves too if you wrap it. And if you kind of pull it in and back, it kind of perfects mm -hmm. its little stragglers or you can go over with your hand. And then there's a button that on the rod, I'll show you in a sec. You want to hold it up to do a cool shot if you can feel the cool air. Yeah. That really is going to lock it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> when it's so hot. Uh-huh and you pull it out, it's still hot. Right. So it almost straightens back out. So you want to make sure you cool it down or at <laughs> least turn it off so that it doesn't blow your piece everywhere too. Uh-huh. See that piece is just a little too wet. Sometimes if it's too wet, I'll just go like this. Uh-huh. But it's so cool how it just grabs it. So cool. And just kind of roll. And then you can pretty much feel it's all the way dry now. So I'm going to pull the cool shot. Sorry, I forgot to show you. The cool shot for another 10 seconds. And you can feel it, that it's cooled down. Mm -hmm. Off. And then out. So here's the on. If you just hold it. Oh, okay. It's cool. Yeah. Or you could turn it all the way down so you don't have to hold it. Right. But as okay. you're doing it, just do that. I did not realize the cool shot thing on there. And that's like where a lot of people go wrong with curling their hair, I think, because they'll do a super hot tool and curl it and then they run their fingers through. Right. So it, you it bring your stay. fingers through and it's still hot. 
So now it's trying to set a little more straightened out with it being hot, you know? Right. That makes sense. And I feel like it gives so much volume because the air is circulating, uh -huh. wrapping, so it's Pushing your roots up, giving that volume, but then smoothing your hair back down. Right. Pushing volume, smoothing back down. And it's just like bouncy for days. And see, when I did my video, I didn't stop it in between. Oh, okay. Yep. See, that really, really yep. helps, I think. Mm hmm and I didn't do the pulling part either. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you have it on while you take it out, it kind of twists it more and tangles. Yeah. And these are the bigger ones or the yep. smaller ones? The they big are. one. Okay. I'll show you with the little one too. And the two brushing tools, mm -hmm. one of them is more firm, like to get more straight, like pin straight. The other one's more of kind of like a fluffy blowout straight. Okay. Or like the firmer one is good for like textured hair that's really, really curly, kinky. Some people need a little extra firmness to it. Uh-huh. Sometimes I'll do a cool shot too and then let it go for let it be back up and then just so it doesn't get too hot on your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it doesn't feel hot at all. In fact, you can't even feel it. Yeah, I out. know. It really is crazy how like soft it is. So yeah, having it brushed out too before you start really helps so that you can have like easier, straighter sections. Even after you pre-dry it, just kind of brush it out a little bit straighter so that you're not drying like a kinky wave kind of. Right. Even though the air should smooth it out too, it's just that much better if you do that. use that other right. one, both sides, but you just gotta flip your arm and think a little bit. <laughs> think a lot. <laughs> so you're looking at an arrow and then you right. flip it sides and then you look at the rear <laughs> arrow. <laughs> Thank you.
And if you feel like it starts picking up another one, you can just kind of hold your hand in the way like this. Mm -hmm. around and wrap so then mm -hmm. the piece is laying over it and then you might get a little kink from it right or like a awkward direction but pretty easy usually Go to use the straightening ones mm -hmm. to dry it pretty good first because you don't want to okay. look you don't want to rip through with it being kind of sticky because it's like wet and dry mixed hair right so it pulls a little but it's really nice because you can bend this one and you just hold your hand with it and like can get that bend in your hair. Okay. This one's just a little bit more straight, straight but I think it does move too. Okay. You can always split them in half. Sometimes the wide sections are big curls. Oh, wow. So much volume. <laughs> oh, 
That looked a lot better than what I did. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> That's okay. You gotta practice. It's so confusing. Oh my gosh. And like, because the opposite directions of blowing and then trying to look at yeah. the mirror. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that makes it even more tricky. Oh, look at that. Yay! Look! <laughs> Do you want me to put a little bit of something in there or spray or um whatever you think. Let's do what for volume or I like to put like a little bit of cream in there. Okay. It's kind of like a texture. Soft and flexible. All right, so that wraps up this video on the Dyson Airwrap. And as you can see, Summer did a most awesome uh, job on my hair again this time. And with the curls, um, she gave a bunch of tips and tricks on how to use it that I did not do in the very beginning, which is awesome. And so next time I try this, um, I have a better understanding on what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, thanks again so much for watching this one and I will catch you on the next one. Make sure that you are subscribed to me on Instagram at uptownglamgirl.com. And right now we're doing giveaways from now until Christmas. So five weeks of giveaways, make sure you're subscribed and get in on that action. So thanks again for watching and God bless. Mwah.